Andre Bruni here from Motion Real Academy. Thanks for joining me on my first ever episode of Let's Create. So let's get right to it. Here we are inside Gravity Sketch. I've set up a mood board here for the first episode of Let's Create. So we're going to create today the Kobayashi coffee cup from The Usual Suspects. The object of this video is to build the perfect 3D coffee cup in Gravity Sketch 6. My name is Andre Bruni from Motion Real Academy, and let's get this party started. I watched the movie the other night. I noticed the coffee cup in several scenes. It's basically just a standard white porcelain coffee cup with a few small features, and on the bottom you'll see the Kobayashi logo, as well as a small ridge. I went about trying to create this coffee cup in several different ways, and I came up with several failures that did not meet my goals. This first attempt, I tried to use a stroke and turn it into sub D. Here you'll see that it's all quads, except for the bottom is only two quads, and that's not what I wanted. The second attempt was just take a cube, turn it into sub D. This also did not have the level of detail that I needed. The third attempt, I tried, just took a standard cylinder and turned it into sub D, and this one has a bunch of tries at the bottom, and that didn't work for me. In order to get the Results I really want, I had to follow these rules. Must be all quads. The cup and handle must be all one piece. Must have thickness like a real coffee cup. Must have good edge flow so I can add support loops. Must have clean topology for texture mapping so I can add the logo. Must be smooth and free of distortion and artifacts. So I figured out the way to make the perfect coffee cup and here's how it's done. First thing you need to make sure of is that the mirror is on. Second thing is I'll go to my shapes tools, choose the cylinder, Turn sub D on and the customize option on. Then I'll highlight this option here so that my model comes out right in the center of the world. Now I'll go ahead and draw out the cylinder, let go, and you'll see these controls here. Top to bottom, I just want one segment. Left to right, I want 12 segments. When I'm happy with that, I hit the blue button on my drawing hand, and then I turn mirrored off. The next step is to remove half of these segments so that I can get this to be mirrored, I'll select half of the segments, delete them, turn mirror back on, and I have one whole piece again, but now it's mirrored. The next step is for me to remove the top and bottom segments of this model so that we can get rid of those tries, and we're going to rebuild this part later. Then we'll turn the subdivision level on, and you'll see we have a perfect circle here. The next step is to add a point between this point and this point that we're going to use to build the handle. We'll also add the same point on the other side so that there are still an even number of points total. Now you'll see when I do that, it flattens out the part of the model between this point and this point. Now to fix this, select this option, and what we're going to do is select this line and pull it out just a little bit. I'm using Smart Merge to do this, but you might have to fine-tune this just a little bit to get the perfect curve. The way that Gravity Sketch works is the point between this and this gets curved perfectly if this point is on average between these two. And make sure you're grabbing the line and not the vertices so you can do the top and bottom at the same time. And you may have to scoot this in a little bit. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we have again a perfect circle, but we've added an additional two loops. The next thing we're going to do is add the bottom. So to do this, we turn the loop tool on, select this loop, grab it with the grab hand, and fire off the trigger once. For the first loop, you want it to be very close. Don't move your hand around a lot. Fire off the trigger again, move the joystick to the left, excuse me, and you will see that it makes a new loop, and you want this to be as rounded as possible when you let go. The idea of this is you want this to look like a spider web, and you want these angles to be as close to each other, the same angle as possible, and it's difficult to do that with that tool, so you sort of have to tweak these a little bit. Now we have loops around the edge of the bottom of this cup. Now we're going to fill in the bottom here with quads. To do that, make sure this is turned off. We'll zoom in a little bit so we can see. I'll grab this edge and bring out a new edge. I'll grab this center point and snap it to the middle. Then I'll take this point, snap it to the next point over. I'll make a new face, snap this to the middle, then the next one over. Do it one more time. To the middle, and then the next one over. Now if any of these haven't connected, you'll see a darker line here. To connect these two, you just lift this up a little bit so, you, so that they separate and then bring them back together again and they will snap together like this. What you want to see is 
a total surface with no dark lines. Then you can adjust these points again to be as flat as possible. And now we have the detail that we need on the bottom of this cup. Now we're going to add the support loops. We'll put one here and one here, four more, so that we get squares that represent where the handle is going to come out. When we've gotten this far, we're ready to use thicken offset to make a thickened cup is, it's, sometimes it's hard to grab it, is the old version and the inside cup is the new version. So here's our new, we choose the selection tool from our tool belt, like so. Zoom in a little bit, we'll grab this with our grab, we'll move the selector over this with our drawing hand, line up the other controller until we see the blue line, grab it, and fire off the trigger. And that brings out our handles. The next thing we'll do is finish off the handles by grabbing this face, firing off the trigger, and bringing out another segment that we're going to connect in the middle. We'll do the same thing on this bottom one. Grab this, fire off the trigger, and we'll bring this roughly around the same area. Then we'll select this face and delete it, select this face and delete it, then connect the dots. When they're all connected, what you're left with is a handle. We can continue to modify the shape of this handle without disturbing the rest of the cup. Add now support loops on the handle to give it a little bit more definition, like so. And now for the bottom of the cup, we can add the ridge by adding another loop. We'll select the loop tool, select this loop, grab it with our grab hand and very slightly move the joystick in and let go and that gives a nice ridge on the bottom there. Now we're going to flip the cup over. We'll add an additional support loop here on this lip. And that's about it for the coffee cup. Now we can turn on, in the settings, we can turn on surface contours. And we can see that the contours on this cup are perfect. Bring this into Blender or any other software and unwrap it, add textures to it. And there it is, folks, the Kobayashi cup. You can bring this into Blender, add sub subdivision modifiers to it, and make it look even more realistic. All right, thanks for joining me, folks. I'll be doing these regularly, so check back. And, of course, like and subscribe if you like my channel. And if you're interested in Gravity Sketch certification, Motion Real Academy has you covered. Check out our official Gravity Sketch certification course at motionreal.com. See you next time.